Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to pass state as props to child components. You saw a lot of examples that passed props to child JSX elements and child react components in previous challenges. You may be wondering where those props come from. A common pattern is to have a stateful component containing the state important to your app and then that then renders child components. You want these components to have access to some pieces of that state, which are which are passed in as props. For example, maybe you have an app component that renders a nav bar, among other components. In your app, you have state that contains a lot of user information, but the nav bar only needs access to user's username so it can display it. You can pass that piece of state to the nav bar components as a prop. This pattern illustrates some important paradigms in React. The first is unidirectional data flow. State flows in one direction down the tree of your application's components for the stateful parent component to child components. The child components only receive the state data they need. The second is that complex stateful apps can be broken down into just a few or maybe a single stateful component. The rest of your components simply receives state from the parents as props and, a, and render a UI from that state. It begins to create a separation where state management is handled in one part of the code of code and user interface rendering in another. This principle of separating state logic from user interface logic is one of React's key principles. When it's used correctly, it makes the design of complex stateful applications much easier to manage. So the my app component, so here we've got the my app component is a stateful is stateful and renders a nav bar component as a child. So within here we've got a nav bar component as a child. We want to pass the name property in its state down to the child component. Then show the name in the h1 tag that's part of the nav bar's render method. So here's the nav bar component. And now the nav bar component, we need the name in here. So it's pretty cool. They've actually put the uh, commented out code that's going to make it easier for us to do this. So the my app component is, is stateful and renders a nav bar component. Pass the name property in its state down to the child component. So we want to say our name. And then in here, we're going to pass the uh, name property. Um, but we want the actual element we want it to say camper bot right so we're going to go this which means this component and then we're going to say uh dot state so we're going to get this dot state and then we're going to say dot name and i'm going to slide this out this dot state dot name so once again this dot state dot name and because we're passing in the value, we're going to have camper bot string being passed in as a name. Okay, and then down here, we want to pass in the... We want to actually initialize what we're, what, what we're getting passed down. So I think this dot props... Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, it's this dot props dot name. Hello, my name is camper bot. Okay, so what does this mean? This which is means the constructor dot props, which means this guy, and the props are pulling super props. They're being passed it down by this guy and, and caught by here. So we're setting this, the props are being the things that we're passing into here, the state. And so this dot props dot name is what we need to get this camper bot. Um, so yeah, the this is really important. I think when I did this one the first time and I got confused, couldn't figure it out, I was doing this, props.name, that doesn't work. Because if you just do props.name, it doesn't know to ask for this. It's actually just asking, I would guess within this JSX code bit, which obviously makes it a build error. So, uh, so we want to change this dot props. And then because this, if this were like name one, it wouldn't work because we're not passing the props down. We need to actually pass down the name, yeah, this props.name. I think we could even say, if we said name one, this.props.name one, we could pass it down because we're doing props at this point. This is a prop. This is the stateful application, right? The stateful application has its name, 
And because we're passing things down as a prop, we can name them however we, we like. Um, so and we don't obviously want to call it name one, I think. I don't think that it actually matters. I wonder if, I wonder if this would pass the test. Name one. Because it's doing functionally, functionally it's acting the same way. But no, it says that the navbar component should receive the my app state property name as props. So name is it's, it's actually specifically asking for name. So we need to make sure that the prop matches the requirements to, in order to pass the test. So I'll just go through it one more time. We have a stateful component, which is my app. And then we have a regular component, which receives props, which is navbar. And so the first thing that we want to do is we want to run the nav bar which is basically just a div that has a nav bar on it it has no other real value right now but um, what we want to do is we want to render the nav bar which is this component within the my app component and in the nav bar we're passing in the state so we're saying this dot state dot name this meaning this component state meaning the state of the component and the name meaning the key value pair for name camperbot so this renders out to just a string of camperbot and then we come down to here and the nav bar is trying to render out uh, the props so it's calling in the props and then it's uh, rendering uh, a single div which with an h1 element within it that says hello my name is and then we're saying this dot props dot name so this the nav bar dot props meaning the props that were given to it and the props pull from the um, uh, props that you're passing in through here so th my name is this dot props and so because our name element is here we get the string which matches to this guy and which pulls from here anyways hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson